Welcome to this episode of Emergency Intercom. Are you ready to have absolutely nothing of true intelligence spewed into your ear for an hour? Like, I genuinely don't know that people walk away from this podcast learning anything, but maybe they learn to love. No, that's what I was about to say. They learn to love themselves because they look at two people that have loved themselves a little too hard, (laughs) a little too much. A little too much. No, I think the point of loving yourself a little too much And I'm Drew, and this is Inya. I was going to say, I think the form of loving yourself a little too much is when you get to like a Jake Paul, Logan Paul level. Like a pure... Oh, speaking of YouTubers, Mr. Beast's last video. Oh, he's a danger. He's so, an actual he danger. He is actually going beyond... Like, he is fully performing Squid Games. Like, yeah. No, he's... It, it's really, really... It's actually dark. Like, the, the ending of that video was actually dark. Like, I literally was, like, almost tearing up. I felt so bad for that guy. Also, I found out he is a friend of another Mr. Beast type creator, that Eric guy, who was in Eric's really early videos. And I wonder if there's some, like, drama or beef there oh. because he left Eric. Uh, yeah. To do the Mr. Beast thing. But he was hella athletic. I, I was, know. Like, I was going to say surprised. that has to just be one of his homies who is like very athletic. Because the, if you haven't watched, please go watch. Me, please go watch. Yeah. Um, But it literally is so fucking odd. The water scene made me so anxious. And also just like him losing and then picking him up. I mean, like, come on, buddy. And you think he would hug him and comfort him. But he just puts him on the platform and shoots him down into a pit. Like, No, we, we've, we I mean, we've said this for the last six months. Like he is flying really, really close to the sun and then he like posted about like a new video that he's doing where it's like this sterile ass white room also the fucking budget has gone up insane like that was like a five million dollar video with like the sets he was doing and then he built out another set that's like super techie like could be in space odyssey 2001 like type shit like very sterile white room like high advanced like future shit whatever um, and he's locking people in there for a hundred days. And if one, if there's two people, if one of the people leaves, they both lose the money. And I think it's like a half a million dollars or something. Oh my God. Half um, a million to split or half a million per I, person? I have no idea. I think I would assume to split, but it's probably knowing per Mr. Person. Beast. Yeah, he's probably just doing that. But um, people were like actually upset with him. They're like, damn, like he actually is like, becoming like a rich super villain watching people like brawl for money but yeah. like then that there's like the argument well like isn't every game show ever like making people who need no, really literally a lot out. of money like make fools of themselves like that's the whole point of a game show it's always been around so like why is it a problem now that mr beast is doing it but i don't know he's just taking it to a level that like that we've was never just seen so before. sad it was literally just so sad the ending of that like I feel like with game shows, but I guess he still walked away with, like, a good amount of money. So, boo fucking who. It's just crazy. Because also, like, I was saying to Drew, in that, like, video, he had to just keep going because or else, like, Mr. Beast even made a comment about it. He was like, or else I just won't have a video. Mm -hmm. So, he literally kept pushing him towards the end of the video to keep going through the trials knowing that he wouldn't win. Yeah, and even Mr. Beast was like, okay, like, this is, there's too much money on the line, like, do not do this next one. And he was like, don't fucking convince me to do the next one. And then he did it anyways. And then flopped hard. But then it sucks because that's like the worst trap they made. I know. It's like the bunkus trap because it's literally just a squid games game. Squid games. Um, Squid eating my sandwich watching squid games. (laughs) Also, last night I was freaking the fuck out because I was just scrolling through TikTok and I stumbled on a live and it was like, we'll insert the picture, but it was like just this screen and I didn't recognize the app at first, but I could assume it was Uber. And you could see the guy was in Denver. He was like driving around and it was like two minutes to picking up Hannah and he's talking to the camera and like just talking, but like he, he did it in a way that he, it doesn't show the exact directions. Like, you know, how on the Uber map, it'll have the map and like the line, but it won't show like where you're going. Um, cause he probably has another phone it's connected to for the actual map. But I was watching, I was like, there's no way this man is about to stay on live and get a passenger in his car. He fully did. And he like interacted with her and tried to make conversation, but it was like late at night and she did, like, didn't really talk to him. And that was freaking me the fuck out because 
how insane is that that this uber driver is just live Ubu picking driver. people up driving around and there was a point where uh he showed a part of the map when she got out of the car he didn't move and like he zoomed out and you could see the lyft and uber app open at the same time and on the lyft app it shows like street names and stuff and that i'm not going to insert but i was looking at it i was like if i was actually but this is also me just being extremely paranoid and fearful because i'm a woman and i like swear this is going to happen to another woman and it scares me but if i was an insane person living in the denver area and i saw that and i wanted to kill somebody like a random person i had no connection to i literally could have found that girl's cross streets very easily gone outside her house yelled hannah she probably would have come out and been like why is someone yelling my name and i could have killed her and then that's what was freaking me out last night because i was like oh my god like literally it is such an invasion of privacy and then i thought about it because i get in ubers and if i'm with a friend i say all my fucking business like we'll be catching up in an uber i'll be saying all my fucking tea like i say literally everything that's happening in my life imagine getting into a fucking uber and you're like on tiktok in the back stream. seat like talking to a friend and scrolling through tiktok and you just see a live stream and you're like oh like there's an uber driver live streaming and you click on it and you fucking hear your voice and you're literally like without your knowledge oh being broadcasted to a thousand that's people. like my biggest fear coming true like i literally think i'm being recorded at all moments of the day yeah like me and kai talk about it literally all the time where we're just like it, it feels like there's like a camera on me all the time like even in like safe spaces i just like i don't know it's it's fucking bizarre but my favorite genre of video ironically enough that you brought that up is right now watching uvu javers kick out passengers out of their car for being psychos and like it's so funny watching these people be like tyrants in the back and then like get humbled when they're like get out of my fucking car if you're gonna act like i think you're forgetting like this is my car this is literally my vehicle. yeah and like i've i've seen somewhere like People in the back are like lying and like will call the cops and say, he's trying to run me over. And they're like, <laughs> they have like the camera footage and it's just him sitting there like just being like, why are you literally lying right now? <laughs> it's like, it's really, really advanced level um, shit to like bring up. But yeah, we've definitely gone too far. We've said it a million times. Like I was scrolling through my TikTok feed the other day and I was just like, watching live streams of just like the most bizarre shit i mean you saw it yesterday i don't want to yeah. mention what it was but it was just literally like people dying on my live stream and like people donating gifts like it was so fucking weird yeah it, it's like gone so far what you can see on live stream like it can either be like you're invading someone's privacy or it's just the most random person ever which actually i will insert this woman who was doing karaoke on her live to like 30 people with like the eye contact filter on and i watched her for so long mm. like i was just so mesmerized because i was like damn dude she's literally just at work and she's passing the time and this is awesome but then you scroll another one and it's somebody like going around on the streets of la i watched this one for a long time because last night was a really nice foggy night and i was actually so upset that i was high so i couldn't drive around um because i don't believe in driving while you're high even mm. though i feel like some people do that and i'm like you are literally actually insane you're still under the influence like get a life and like grow up but um, I was so upset I couldn't drive around, but he, it's the dude, I feel like you've seen him, and he's, like, OG live streamer on, he, he has, like, a police radio, and he literally goes to scenes that police are going to, which is, one, dangerous, two, also invasive, like, he was, yesterday, this was freaking me out, he was at the crime scene where someone had gotten shot, and he was just on live stream, and then also, like, that's a whole other thing because then i was like dude the 24-hour news cycle has gone gone to a new level where citizens are just partaking in it and like i don't know it, it, it was like last night i was literally freaking the fuck out i was like this is so insane that i'm just sitting in my bed and i can see everything happening like everywhere everything mm -hmm. everywhere all at once like Do you literally remember <laughs> like like two or three years ago like when tiktok was getting really really huge and like it was just like it was breaking through like the mainstream and like they just wasn't like chronically online people on tiktok yeah. anymore like everyone was on the internet like in the pan early pandemic and we would see like glimpses of like different cultures like like for in china for example like the most beautiful person you've ever seen like live streaming in like a cardboard cubicle underneath like an overpass like bridge and it was like hundreds of these girls just live streaming and i remember seeing that and being like dude that is so dystopian like i cannot believe that is happening like what the fuck and now i like scroll down my tiktok feed and like literally that's essentially what like 
everybody on yeah, live that's in what America every is live doing is just like fully just like I don't know like and it's all selling something like it's so bizarre like everything is like and I mean I'm like even guilty of this but like everything I see on my fucking feed is like selling something and it's just like it freaks me the fuck out like like I don't know like late stage capitalism vibes for real like I know, I'm like so also odd. like on TikTok I bought one fucking thing off the live store or the TikTok store I bought like this is so embarrassing oh my fucking god I bought Pokemon cards and it was crazy I bought Pokemon cards for a guy to open them on a live stream <laughs> and show me what Pokemon cards I so got. So you on paid the live for a live disappointment. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. Actually, I did get a hit. Like it was actually fire. I'm gonna go. Back. But <laughs> that is so insane. What is a hit? What does that mean? Like he got a good card. I got a good card. Oh, oh, oh! Well, they're all wrapped up. Yeah. Um. But I paid for them on the live. I spent. I think like $10 for him to open and ship the card and he opened the pack live. And then now all my TikTok store feed has been is Pokemon related. And I'm like, damn, that algorithm is like fucking vicious. Like literally, I guarantee I could scroll down my feed right now and find like one fucking Pokemon video within 10 minutes or 10, 10 seconds. I mean, like Dude, it's, it's so insane. So fucked up. Our timelines are so different. Drew, it's like didn't unreal. You, didn't you buy something else too uh, from TikTok? Oh, you bought food. Dude, stop. Yeah, yeah, you bought. No, no, no. I, think, I think we need to talk about that. You no. bought, bought like a. Oh, hold like on, a, hold on, hold on. Like a. <laughs> I literally. Oh, look, two videos back to back. I told you. Pokemon, yeah. Yeah. Um, but. On the TikTok feed, I was, or on the TikTok live store, I literally bought, so, okay, okay, like, literally give me fucking, like, props, because, like, if you know, you know, but. Yeah, I, I partially understand this, but buying this online and not in person is the, cra that's <laughs> yeah. what makes this a crazy no, buy. I, I know, it is, it is Tell really them crazy. what you got, True. I got a hot bowl, which, with, um, <laughs> queso flavored ruffles and, a. Uh, coke like a pepsi like leave me the fuck like alone like buying the pepsi the on top of all that is just so insane to me no, no, because it you was have in pepsi on it. here it, it was a part it was a of a bundle the, yeah it was a bundle yeah, it was like, a bundle ruski what was in the hot bowl Drew? it was boiled eggs red 40 like hot and sauce like it was sausage and like nasty i literally i'm not even joking i did not have a bite of it because it took two weeks to get here like <laughs> yeah. and by the time it got here it fucking reeked and you actually had a bite of it and it okay, wasn't i am like i grew up eating hot sausage and pickled eggs so i was like oh this might be good but then when he told me he ordered it online i was like that's gonna sit in like that means this person transferred this to a container from the original container made this mixture put it into like a random container they bulk bought and sent it to you with like no preservation of it. Also, it sat in a hot truck for two weeks. The eggs that were in a DHL van. <laughs> yeah, no, in literally, no, like were weather. boiling. I think it flew because the Pepsi like was almost <laughs> exploded. Like the end of it was like bulging out. Like the air pressure had <laughs> fucked it up. But the craziest thing is it really did take two weeks to ship because TikTok has like. Um, like the TikTok shop, like if you don't ship your order out within three days of getting the order, the order is canceled. So it like promotes like um, fast, fast like, shipping yeah. and like fast turnaround and processing times. So that means she shipped it out in three days, but it took 10 days to fucking get Because they here. probably stopped it through the fucking postal service and yeah. was like, what is this? <laughs> Why are they like they had a to bowl of soup. <laughs> yeah, like like a, a lukewarm bowl of soup with like jalapenos, boiled eggs, sausages, and like onions in it. Yeah, like, I wish I took a picture of it. I don't think I got a picture, which is like one of the biggest regrets. Did it you, tasted did really fucking nasty. No, no. I think India did. Did anybody taste the egg? No, because even as somebody who eats pickled eggs, like at least pickled eggs, I know that like pickling foods is an old time process but this wasn't a pickled egg it was literally an egg she boiled and threw in that fucking fuck random ass Nasty. bowl of no, like fuck mush but that's the kind of shit. shit like tiktok convinces me to buy like oh the best white t-shirt you'll ever have or like oh a lip stain like blah 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 <laughs> and drew's like oh my god uh um do you want to see my literal car? bowl ass of eggs. fucking acid <laughs> no, and pokemon cards i, I need that I and slime actually he's bought slime oh yeah that i buy sense. hella yeah. slime that's like a normal um, all right let's look at my 
cart right now. <laughs> dude, I have a really good video actually of Drew looking at slime on his. Oh fuck, dude! TikTok. My cart, everything's sold out. I really do Shemoy want the pickle. Skittles, Axolotl stress ball, um, Chamoy gushers, and oh, I saw. I was looking at these Rice crispy treats. Like the Rice crispy treats on TikTok shop go hard as fuck. I think I've said this before, <laughs> but you know when you go into a store and you're like, why did Reese's or like Hershey's or all these brands, what is this new random ass candy they made? Like, wh why are they doing that? Or like chip flavors and shit. And you look at it and most normal people walk into a store and they're like so weird. They go for the thing they were there initially for and they keep it pushing. Drew will try anything. Like your mouth yeah. is literally a garbage disposal. You yeah. will put anything in that mouth. Yeah. Oh, anything. Mm -hmm. Literally yep. anything. Yeah, yeah we yeah. know. Yes. We will. Yeah, yeah, we know. I'll put anything in his mouth. Yeah. Also, <laughs> guys, hey. sorry that my voice is fucked up. I was screaming at the top of my lungs. I was locked in a room. I was trying to get. Were you the in prize. the Mr. Beast video? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's actually Mr. Beast's newest victim. He's literally like developing Logan Paul syndrome because that kid in that video like cut his fucking leg open and was like dripping blood down his leg, and it's getting really close to him accidentally beheading someone. And I'm just waiting for the day, like when David Dobrik flew his fucking friend around that fucking, uh, <laughs> whatever, what is that thing? A ski dude? The, the tractor, tractor thing. What yeah. is it? I don't, girl, I don't you, know. you're crane. asking us what that machine a is. Crane, the, crane. the crane, yeah. Crane's like, in the sky. He, Mr. Beast is getting really close yeah, to being really David Yeah, really flying Dobrit. too close to the sun yeah. and literally Mr. just Beast like. Mr. Beast is going to just like put people in cannons and shoot them into the, <laughs> yeah. into the ocean. No, literally soon. he's like, we're going to see if this guy can go over three school buses via a <laughs> cannon we made. And it's like they put like just only a helmet on him and then a Mr. Wait, Beast merch. actually, no. They this would is... cover him in the chocolate bars and be like, this will cushion your fall. Yeah, literally. <laughs> um, this is actually a really good idea that I think Mr. Beast should do. More oiled up twerking booties in the That's videos. what I'm saying. Like, he he wants I'm to reach serious. an algorithm. You made such a good point. Like Mr. Beast wants a billion views on a video. Oh, so he's bad. fiending. Like for that's it. his I can dream. Tell. I can. Tell. I feel like he ha he has like some videos that are like half a billion. I don't think so. I think the most is like two hundred and eighty thousand. Squinch on games. Yeah. Squinch games. I think got almost a billion. I, no, no. I think it's. I don't even think it's at half a billion yet. Really? I think it's two hundred eighty million. But Why, if it's, like, I, it might be 400, but... No, yeah, 500 million. Oh, wow. For Squinch Games. Wow. He wants a billion views so bad. But then I, I was know. thinking about it. I was like, how the fuck does he secure budgets like this? But, like, of course some venture capitalist would want to be a part of this. Like, he's getting more views than, like, the any TV Super Bowl. show has ever fucking gotten, ever. Yeah. Like, it's it's unlike... It's unprecedented. It's unlike anything we've ever seen before. Like, I wonder it's what, so sustainable, too. I wonder what the, like... GDP impact. What state does he live South in? South Carolina. He run he dude, he bought part of the Charlotte Hornets basketball team. Like he like is running shit like in fucking Bitch, he's running for South fucking Carolina. mayor. He, oh my god, he, he needs ran to run for, for mayor. President? He he would win. Right? He would have a well, I no, because most of his audience is too young to. Love. They're all like twelve. Yeah, I forget. they're like too young. Well, like twelve year olds and fourteen year olds run the fucking internet. So like, we're getting to the day and age where like fourteen year olds might be able to vote soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in four years. I mean, they I think already soon. technically do because they like swing the decisions of so many fucking voters in different directions. But wait, what age can you vote? Eighteen. It's eighteen, right? Yeah. That I mean, Mr. Beast definitely has. Like a handful, a yeah. A good amount. I mean, we, we are literally up. three mid-20, 20, late-20-year-olds 20 sitting here Hello, talking about Mr. 17. Beast for 15 minutes. So he <laughs> yeah. definitely has 18-year-olds. I feel 18 like he year will win. If he 17. runs for president, he will win. Yeah, we were he talking about if Taylor Swift ran for president. It would be like a third party, like uh, Republican, Democrat, Swifty. Like, she mm -hmm. would literally win. Yeah, she would get those votes in. That shit was real, right, with the diapers? What diapers? You know, there were like photos of like seats at Taylor Swift concerts covered in shit. Because people, you, know. you didn't see that? No. Yeah, it was like people walking through, like cleaning up after the the concert, and there was like shit stains on the seats. I'm pretty sure this is real. Where there Can was, I like, s pull up a picture? I literally okay. need to see this so Why? fucking Why? Is it because people, like, even during intermissions, like, they didn't want to leave? Wanna I guess leave. it is, like, the longest concert ever, too. It's, like, three hours. That is so fucking funny. Dude, performing for three hours? Thing, like, people wearing diapers, and then it, like, going out of the diaper. 
having a blowout. Like I know like when babies sit in car seats and have like liquid poop, but they like have blowouts up their back. Like that's literally what was happening to Taylor Swift fans is they were having, they were sitting in those damn seats for too long. That it was is... like they were like camping out and they just had like a backpack full of loaded diapers and then they just like had to empty them somewhere, but they didn't want to go to the trash can. Okay, so they maybe just... I made this up because I'm not seeing it, but it might've been scrubbed from the internet. Uh, people confirmed were diapers though. And you know people were shitting in the diapers. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's like, like one know. of my dreams. Like, I want to pee and poo in a diaper. Like, I want to <laughs> piss and poo. You say it like it's not like an attainable dream. Like, you can do it. You, I think your body that just won't no. let you. Nice. I, I, it's, it is an attainable dream, but like, it is so, like, you know, like internal the homophobia. Cleanup. Like, I have like internal diaper phobia. Like, I literally <laughs> like... I'm like, I don't think I can do that. Like, I don't know, like, if morally I'm allowed to shit all over my butt. Luna is standing <laughs> up. Huh? Luna is standing up. Oh. What? Really? Yeah. Isn't that That crazy? happens that fast? Bro, no, she's just advanced. I swear to God, she's like the most advanced baby. Not as ever. advanced as that baby that we saw on TikTok that was <laughs> Two year old reading. reading. This guy was no, recording that's his, scary. his, his scary. two year old baby. He was like, just found out randomly at this pet's mark that my two year old son can read. That's scary. And it literally is he was holding his baby, looking at the fish, and the baby just looked at the label and read it and was like, uh, like zebra fin. And he was like, what? what and he was fuck? like, what? And he was like, zebra, zebra. No, he fan. was saying like words like Tetra and Zebra and Danio. And I was like, bitch, if I looked at that shit, I wouldn't even be able to read it. It's like dead ass some like glitch in the matrix, like stream of consciousness. I'd be terrified, like, you know, bro, like I'd give thoughts. my baby away. Like I, I always say like, if you have an idea, act on it immediately because there is like this thought ether that like everybody's inspired by the same shit and everybody's getting this sh same stream of information so if you think of something someone else will think of it because you had that thought so act on it immediately but it has to be like something like that where the kid tapped into like a wavelength that we like can't even understand Dude, yet the crazy shit because how do babies learn how to fucking stand and walk have you seen the Crawl. babies that like flip through tiktok filters and they'll choose it and then they'll stand back and they'll like yes dance dude luna is like it dude the the that iphone is so terrifying the iphone is literally like so evil and wicked and like it is literally harvesting of all <laughs> us of all of our fucking juices and energy and money and like yep. all of our time and energy like it's fucking crazy and it's so good at doing it and it's so like scientifically dialed into like activate every fucking chemical in synapse to fire in our brain all at once that like when luna sees this phone she has no idea what this is she's not cognitive enough she's never even used one or like been able to understand what people are doing on it but when she sees this fucking screen light up she crawls to it immediately like it's like and she has the biggest smile on her face and she like knows like what this is and it's just so fucking weird like, it literally is so scary it's and it's because she's around every human she's seen with cognitive abilities has held one in their yeah. face and like smiled at it and laughed at it so she is immediately programmed to be like that's a good thing like i need that too so also it's babies just like nowadays are growing up like I, I saw this funny picture but it was like baby's first time at disneyland like from their p or from our pov it's like us taking a picture of the baby but from their pov there's just like a black box <laughs> and everything they see and it's just like literally like so real like babies are gonna grow up with, with like with that being said blindness. me and drew will be waiting in line for the oh, vision yeah apple vision pro yeah i'm gonna suck and fuck my way to the front of the line yeah I'm going to spend seven grand on the attachments, the battery, the vibrator, whatever. The it kind of sounds like you're talking in two times speed right now. Does it actually? Yeah. Like you're the way your because voice I'm trying sounds to right like, now. I'm trying to compensate for the fact that my voice is fucked up. So I'm like pushing. Kai, your morning out. voice is fucking sexy. Is it sexy? <laughs> like, Ew. Wait, really? Uh, is like, it actually? Yeah, your do, you like, do you like that? I like a nice fucking morning voice. All right. We're going to get demonetized. So. Ew. <laughs> This episode of Emergency Intercom is brought to you by BetterHelp. Okay, it's getting to that time of the year where seasonal depression is starting to set in. And I know I lay in bed at night with extreme, dark, scary anxiety that is borderline dangerous. And I know what's good for me. I know what I should do. I should probably speak to my therapist and probably... 
get these thoughts out and probably journal, but it's so easy riding away and staying in your pajamas all day and not doing anything. But you know what you got to do? You got to wake up. You got to wake. Well, you got to go to sleep and then you got to wake up. My brain just ruminates and tells me everything is bad and that nothing good in my life is happening and blah, 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 blah. When in reality, that's just not the case. And all I need to do is just like chill. Therapy helps you figure out why and what is holding you back so you can work on yourself instead of against yourself. BetterHelp is great because it's helpful for learning positive coping skills, can learn how to set boundaries. It empowers you to be the best version of yourself. Also, it just helps you get through and work through those blocks and those anxieties that you have that keep me awake at night. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched to a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any times for no additional charge. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash intercom today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash intercom. Yeah, um sorry. when is that I'm coming out that. like what is that actually I think coming, it's coming out? out next year <clears throat> yeah next year i'm pretty sure why the fuck would they announce that shit so early to revolutionize the game like i don't think y'all are understanding it's literally I know- just to lay claim it's like we're doing it we're doing it we're yeah, doing exactly. it exactly i know it looks bunk as fuck and it's probably not gonna be that good but like do we remember what the first iphone did for the world like mm-hmm. now we cannot live without a device with a touchscreen in our fucking pocket just imagine in a few years when like they figure this shit out where they make it smaller it's the size of a glass and then in 20 years it's the size of a fucking contact like we will literally be living in augmented reality like Mm -hmm. it's very very real like we are on the precipice of like becoming borderline fucking cyborgs right now but yeah me and kai are waiting in line at the apple store for it just to feel something because like i just want to feel happy i just want to feel good i know and it's it is it does feel good to wait in line for something like it's like line like your obsession with lines is like very like real like because like if you think about it like there's such a big reward it's like it's not about it's literally about like destination it's about the journey no literally it's like so much fun can happen in a line if you're with a friend you can make some of the best conversation you've ever made because you're literally struggling to be entertained you're Heads like up by you you Ellen you're going generous <laughs> <laughs> You're like going through the ups and downs. There's moments where you feel defeated and you're like, fuck, why did I wait in this line? Why am I in this line? This is so stupid. I feel like an idiot. I could have done better things. And then there's moments where the line picks up a little speed and you're like, oh my God, like I'm getting so close. This was worth it. I'm so happy we waited. Imagine we didn't wait. Like look how long the line got now. Like imagine we left and came back. Like we would have been fucked. Like there's so many things that happen in the human brain. And then you finally get to the thing and you have the biggest peak of dopamine or serotonin you've ever had in your life. And then it immediately drops because the thing you waited for was not as it doesn't tantalizing live. as you thought. And that's why foreplay is so important. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it. I feel like everything I've ever gotten has not lived up to the hype I've like wanted it to be. Like ever. It's never, ever. Nothing hey. is ever good enough. Um, I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. I'm not good enough. I was going to say I'm right here and you got me. Why mm-hmm. not the best? No, you're really scary actually. <laughs> oh my God. Um... Well, I'm not tapping into fucking augmented reality because I live in the real world and y'all are fucking weird. And also, um, why does breastfeeding and but organizing the milk sound oh, I can so tell fun? You. Um, breast milk is really good and florally tasting. Florally? Floral. Like, like it flowery. tastes like flowers. Floral? It tastes flowery, yeah. Like right. flowers. Have you had breast milk? No, you haven't. Oh, yeah, I've had hella breast milk. I fucking love breast milk. I don't know why you're buying. I buy that shit that. off Etsy, bro. Oh, it's good protein. No, you buy it off the TikTok shop. We're like two yeah. seconds from people selling their mm-hmm. breast milk. I on bet TikTok it's on shop. there because they sell like weed chocolate on there. I've seen people selling psilocybin chocolate. I literally... oh my god, I signed a psilocybin thing yesterday. I can't believe I've done this. But, <laughs> I literally I can't believe did. you've done this. I like can't believe it. But fuck, what was I gonna say? What did you just say about? Breast oh, milk. the apple, the apple glass. One last thing, and then we can move on from it, and then we'll give in the, the breast milk. But I mean, I'm done with it. I was just gonna say, organizing my breast milk sounds fun. I think it's like what a does nightmare. That mean? Is that like when you wait, wait, wait? Let me say this. Wait, create a bunch of bottles. Yeah, a bunch of baggies oh, to save. Okay, okay, okay. 
so this is the last thing I'll say about like Apple Glass and augmented reality. But like <laughs> literally, look around. We are living in like a suffering dystopian society. Like it is a literally dystopia, and like we are finally getting like the good things of a dystopian future. Like fucking Apple Glass augmented reality. Yes, I want to fucking escape this shit. Like okay, we're seeing like the big sphere in Las Vegas. Like it's really scary and big, but like buildings are like animated now. Like. We're about to have fucking like this is the one you thing consider I consider that the the good, the good part. That's that's what I'm saying. Nothing <laughs> is good in dystopia except for augmented reality and buildings that fucking are covered in LEDs. But th they literally destroyed everything around us to force us into that's that. That's what I'm saying. Like, thank God we're getting the good things finally. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. it Kai gets what I'm saying. But I'm so against <laughs> thank God all we the have fucking the TV sphere. That we <laughs> can, like, like literally watch an emoji on. But also we're like two steps away from you've seen the drone shows where they like send up the drones. Those are gonna be Coca-Cola advertisements in like five years. They're gonna be floating above the fucking SoFi Stadium turning. But all right, let's get back into breast milk. I'm just yeah, so against that dystopian ass future. Like, and I also don't believe in it. Like, I literally don't believe in an augmented reality. I don't believe in it being fulfilling. I believe in it. Like, to me, it's like the same ideas, like uh, cryptocurrency and stuff, mm -hmm. where it's like people who are going like a little too ahead because they wanted so badly to be the martyrs of a cause just to turn around and be like, okay, so that didn't work out, but that's okay because that's just the first run and we'll try again next time. And it's like, yeah, okay. I feel like, fail to succeed. I feel like I will suck and fuck my way into the front of the line for the Apple yeah. store, but I do agree with you 100%. I feel like it's net negative. Yeah. Like we're just creating yeah. bigger and bigger problems. Like the AI shit, we're just creating like the Matrix goo pod. Like we don't need that. You know what I yeah. mean? And I also, the theme of my thought process over the last year has just been like, I wish I just didn't know like any of this shit. Yeah. I wish I was Ted Kaczynski, just... let's move to the woods and blow up the fucking um <laughs> yeah. let's blow up every technology I'm not ever. Like pro blowing stuff up, but I am like <laughs> I'm pro like not knowing. Kai things. just said he was pro blowing things up. No, I know, I that was a weird thing to say. No, I didn't. Because Drew was testing you. Mm -hmm. And no, I not? passed it. <laughs> 21. <laughs> 21. That's where everything went wrong. Was <laughs> no, actually... Like that was the end of everything. Like, to me, the furthest technology has to play in my life is the fact that we can sit and rewatch the same YouTube videos and laugh. Like, yeah. that is as far as I need technology to take me. And, yeah. like, posting my fun little pictures and doing this. And then I just don't need it anymore because it literally is so weird. It is – last night, I'm not kidding, I was, like – freaking the fuck out in my bed like i was trying to sleep but i literally couldn't because i was just being bombarded with how scary it is that like just 24 7 surveillance and i used to not care like when i was younger i'd be like who gives a fuck bitch like watch me through my fucking macbook i don't give a fuck and now i'm like what is there on this planet for me mm. and just me mm. nothing because i also won't shut the fuck up so like that's that's a different Okay, but back to breast milk. Um, <laughs> can I has your breast milk, please? I'm I'm forcing all my friends to drink some of my breast milk when I have some. Uh, you're not going to have to force me. I'm going to be drinking along with that fucking baby. I'm going to make everybody... Oh, my God. I'm going to be the first person to do a breast milk-infused <laughs> smoothie at Erwan. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I mean, breast milk is hella good for you. Like, if you have, like, psoriasis or some, like, inflamed eczema on your skin, like, pour a cup of breast milk into your bath water, and, like, that shit will fix it. I need <laughs> Madeline to give real? me some for yeah. the eczema around my mouth. It's yeah. it's Yeah, it literally is, because there's women women whose babies have bad eczema and psoriasis oh, and you, they'll mix like an oatmeal uh, oatmeal bath because like oat is really good for dry skin oh. with their breast milk and they're like it is insane how like quickly it changed it because they used to just do like oat baths and like all these medicines but a lot of the medicines that you use for eczema and psoriasis are literally like because it's not necessarily necessarily curable but a lot of them have steroids in it to make it seem like it cured yeah. your situation yeah. but really your face becomes reliant on it because that's literally what's happening to me like i have really bad eczema around my mouth and the cream i use i'm 
100% allergic to. Like, it makes all around my lips, like, overly sensitive and, like, warm and, like, feel really weird. And it burns my eyes. Yeah, you're like, just, like, treating the symptom. Yeah, you're just, like, mm-hmm. treating the symptom and you can't cure it. But totally. breast milk does, like, eradicate the fuck out of it. So I need some of Madeline's breast milk for my face. Yeah, and me... I need her to just squirt it directly onto my face, though. Oh, that's my fucking sister. Pervert. Okay, and that's my um, girl. Well, me and Kai and Inyo were having a very serious discussion. And they fully agree with me on this and, like... This is borderline they're saying, but they agree that women should stop breastfeeding in public because it's nasty and you're a slut. <laughs> what? Oh my God, yeah. I don't, we didn't I don't think that. we said that. Oh, now you're saying it I was actually saying the opposite. <laughs> I was saying, you know how like there's kiss cams? There needs to be tit cams in public places. TikTok. So if a woman is breastfeeding, the camera goes onto them and then it gets displayed to everybody and actually it's like really fucked up and like weird it and i don't know really why i'm admitting bizarre. that i think that's okay it is really bizarre that like women can't freely breastfeed in public because people like kai are there to dude watch what are you talking about <laughs> i look is- away immediately <laughs> if i notice that shit is happening i actually will sprint away <laughs> so you no, hate it women's is, body it is weird it's so weird like why is that a sexualized thing it's i know it is food. fucking insane it's like that baby literally needs its food and you're gonna force this woman into a pod like the airport pod i'm like pod. this is too the crazy <laughs> It's so crazy that like in the airport, there's literally pods. Why can't this mother sit at the gate and feed her child mother. without people being fucking freaks? Mother. People are just weird and nasty and like women will never escape the cycle of being sexualized and it is so upsetting and awful. And I think maybe, men should kill them. Maybe we give up. I agree. I agree. Men should kill themselves. I agree. Can I suck your boobs now? Um, <laughs> wait, I actually... <laughs> just taking that 10 seconds. <laughs> well, I hate... When you're standing in line for the bathroom, which I don't feel like y'all would know this experience, but when you're standing in line in a woman's restroom and, like, the line is filling up and there are people who just, like, cut through to, like, look to see if the bathroom is actually full, you, if you do that, you piss me the fuck that off. That is so why you Why the fuck do though. you think... No, because I, I'm just uh, uh, I was it. literally about to get so upset <laughs> at that. Because so. why the fuck do you think we're standing in line in a public restroom right now for fucking fun? To, uh, the, the line to the tampon machine? Like, what the fuck do you think we're in line for? I hate when bitches do that. And, they'll, and then they'll look and they'll be like, have you checked if the stalls Tampons. are open? Like, are you dumb right now? Bitch, you want me to fucking One of you? the greatest inventions ever. Um, I see it at airports and bathrooms are the green and red lights above the toilets in the parking spots like that's how cunty like that's we ate with that like if the light is green it's open if it's red it's occupied oh, yeah. and you don't have to walk up to it is that a thing yeah i don't know if it's in bathrooms yeah i've been in airports with those wow yeah it's really it's really fun how does it know DFW. is it because of the lock uh or- I th- actually it might be i was gonna just say some bullshit that there's like a sensor in there but it probably is like the lock but those you know those cameras on the toilet that like the sensors are actually cameras <laughs> looking up your vagina and your i bowel. without fail always think that and i will never not think that and i'm like it's like how ever since i saw the video of somebody taking the thing out of an atm or like a gas station pump like the card thing oh i do that every time ever since like i saw the video of somebody committing fraud and like they rip it out and they're like dude they were scanning everybody's cards I look at everything and I'm like, that is fake. And it is a replica on top of the actual thing to surveillance me right now. It is yeah. literally tracking That's me. It's going to be augmented reality in a couple of years. <laughs> You're so annoying. <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, I only even said the bathroom thing because we were in Malibu at this restaurant and Malibu. this woman came in and there was a regular restroom and then the employees only restroom. And she was like, what's that? And then we were like, it's employees only. And she goes, well, we can just go in there. And all of us literally said nothing because we were like, bitch, you need to fucking kill yourself. Because then she went and wiggled the handle and tried to open the employees only bathroom. She was like, why don't you one of you go get the key to like ask one of the employees since the line is so Why long. don't you? I know. And we were like, none of us said anything. But I know all of us were like, bitch, why don't you fucking do that? And she just got in the line. She was like, this is ridiculous. And we were we've already been in the line for 15 minutes. So, bitch, why the fuck are you getting in this line? And like trying to like start conversation with us like shut the fuck up and then the man she was with got behind her and was like oh now i see why it's taking so long because you girls you girls just take so long in those bathrooms and no one said anything (laughs) and no one said anything and then one girl was like yeah i need to go in there and do my blowout like like do a like a hair blowout blow her back out yeah (laughs) with what well she had her she had a rose toy in her hand which i was like wow level three rose toy level three what is 
What was that? Dude, that was like not. What was that? I'm E.T. I'm an alien. <laughs> I'm extra. Hey. <laughs> See, there's levels to this bar shit that if you get it, you get it. But like, you gotta read between the lines, motherfucker. Hey. <laughs> You're shaking. Why <laughs> <laughs> like, are you shaking? I'm not. It's just when I like my tendons. You have like, no dexterity. No, I got that's because you too don't much be fingering. You don't be fingering. Sis, yeah. Look at this. I got too much. You're dexterity. literally shaking so bad. You're like trembling. Drew, look at your nails really quick. Look at your nails. Mm-hmm. Okay. What? <laughs> Were you seeing if he was going to go like this? What? You know, the, the fucking yeah. gay test from middle school? Yeah. That would I you. never you saw him do that. that. Hella, I just know it. <laughs> I did. I failed that. And I actually remember it in seventh grade, and everyone was like, oh, you're gay. And I was like, that doesn't make sense. I remember, like, not knowing what it was in seventh grade and someone doing it to me and me passing as a straight man and like literally being like like i literally am straight bro. like i'm not hiding anything yeah i remember that anything. like actually kind of like being like determining for people like for that week being yeah. like oh i guess maybe i am questioning the sexuality <laughs> yeah, maybe i am queer <laughs> hmm. questioning i wonder what like if that that has to still those antics have to still be a thing in certain areas like they've probably gotten so much worse like i guarantee like the pendulum has fucking swung like yeah young the kids people are, are really evil. scary they're evil like i'm literally scared every time i walk next to a kid like like or a fucking 17 year old i'm like terrified of 17 and 18 year olds right now like y'all are scary and i know you're watching this you scare me you know too much wow yeah, I don't like seeing groups of uh, teenagers out because it really upsets yeah, me. Also, where terrifying. are your parents? Like, I don't know. Like, when we went to Halloween Horror Nights, there were so many, like, groups of teenagers hanging out late at night. And I was like, literally, where are your parents? Like, I can't believe your parents left you here alone. Also, why is it legal for them to be there alone? Like, I don't know why. I just it felt so... So odd. Like, we're in a place where they serve alcohol. Like, why are you here alone? Like, it feels really not normal. No, it's like a vibe. I remember going to Six Flags alone for the first time and it being like, I'm like a grown up now. Like, I can do things like yeah. this. But my mom was just waiting at the Denny's across the street. Like, they're there. But Halloween Horror Nights was fucking lit. Like, that it was shit so was a funny. Vibe. It, like, I was like, I'm not scared as shit. Like, nothing scares me. And then, like, when those motherfuckers with the chainsaws like came up and blew that fucking exhaust in my face, literally gave me carbon monoxide poisoning. I know, like literally was like <laughs> and like blowing the exhaust in my face. I was like, bruh, like chill, I can't breathe. I lost brain cells. I'm I was just, actually scared. I'm just like so I realized like <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, yeah. <laughs> um <laughs> sorry. I've just realized, like, I'm not, I'm, like, not easily scared like that, but more than anything, like, I'm just so embarrassed. Like, I'm so easily embarrassed by, like, the antics of it. And I understand that's just me being a, a bitter person, a bitter hater. I know, I know, trust and believe. But, like, I just, like, couldn't, <laughs> like, I, I couldn't, like, I just would see them and I'm like, ew, you're literally in a costume trying to scare me Millie right Bobby now. Bobby Brown's but... residency, like, in the Stranger <laughs> yeah, Things, she, she does. Did say, How much is she getting paid to do that? Only, like... Like 60 bucks a day what yeah That's but she crazy. did it because she, she loves off. her fans Jerry <laughs> <laughs> bobby brown fell the fuck off <laughs> no but she ate the girl at the end i was like <laughs> Like, the theatrics of it all was, like, amazing. Yeah, it, that's the thing is, like, so at Halloween Horror Nights, there's a bunch of themed houses. So there's, like, Stranger Things, Last of Us, like, an Evil Dead one. Like, there's all these themes. But the ones that are, like, show-based, like, The Last of Us, they have actors in there, like, playing scenes. And this is so fucked up. And I, like, feel so bad for saying this. But there was this one part where Elle's character, whatever her fucking name is from Last of Us, like, the character. Also, like, it's just so funny to see, like, 
Obviously, they cannot hire a 14-year-old to play a 14-year-old. It has to be an adult playing a 14-year-old. But all the adults playing the 14-year-old, like, looked 28. They were just <laughs> short. Like, yeah, they, they were, were just, like, really short girls. And <clears throat> there was this one scene where, like, walking through, she's, like, behind the gate. And she's, like, um this is awkward and like moves and I really wanted to get it on video. So I stood there trying to get it and it was dark and I, I stood there for way too long and she saw <laughs> me trying to film her because it's literally her behind the gate going, oh, this is awkward and I'm moving to the side and I got a video. <laughs> It was so sad. This it is was so fucked so up, sad. and I'm so sorry. <laughs> she started hiding from me. She literally ran away from the camera, no. and she missed her cues. Like, because so it also sad. like thinking about how Halloween or like uh, haunted it, houses insane. work. It's just in repeating like the, the same, same thing motion for over and minutes, over, and like it has to be on time, and they have to like know it on time. But like it was just playing <laughs> on the speaker, and she wasn't like banging on the glass. Well, this is awkward. Like, like she, she wasn't. wasn't oh, that was her line. Dude, yeah. yeah, that was her line oh because my God. dude if you watch the show like some of that girl's dialogue sucked so bad yeah. so it's literally dialogue from the show and some dude so, th some of the shit they made that kid say i was like what the fuck is happening but that's also, like her she was character like 37 in, th in the show <laughs> or like in real life that's a 37 year old woman the girl who played yes. the girl no, no she's literally yes. fucking like 37. You're so <laughs> not 37. you scared me i was like dude damn she looks really young <laughs> she's um, great but yeah, I got a video of her, like, hiding because I couldn't see, like, at first, because I was just in this, like, loud room, I was looking at my phone, and I was like, where is she? Like, I'm not seeing her on camera. I was like, oh, maybe it's just too dark, so I turned my flash on, and then I realized, like, I was like oh, wait, she's literally hiding from me, and you can oh. vaguely see, like, through her the cracks, she's, like, at the side, like, waiting for me to move <laughs> so she can keep doing it. Because she's going to be blinded by your flash. Oh, um, but so I felt sad. really bad, and I, if somehow this crosses your page, I swear I'm not making fun of you it was just funny to me that this is awkward in this like haunted house um and i'm really sorry but they I, need, it's cracking me up what they need like a really actually scary haunted house like one like uh, the scariest thing i can imagine and that this would be really easy to do is just a um a haunted house where there are no oiled up twerking booties like everywhere like <laughs> imagine a so world like you. imagine a world like where that's not happening like i can't you, even imagine you coming out shaking and crying. <laughs> like sweating like i'm withdrawing from opiates because i like need it i had a i had a question uh would you guys still let me be the producer nope. of the podcast if i was a worm no yeah, I'd okay. squat you're, you. You're barely making it now. I know. You're I'd barely you. making the cut now. I'd squit you. <laughs> I'd, I'd squat you. Like... <laughs> <laughs> All right. When uh, you say worm, the thing is, like, this really goes to see, like, goes to show how I view you. Because when you said worm, I was thinking more, like, maggot larva, like, this big oh of a God. worm. Like, I wasn't even thinking, like, you weren't even, like, an earthworm. Yeah, you're, like, in my this mind, tiny. I'm an earthworm. I was thinking no. of you, like, as a fishing lure. <laughs> like, yeah. Or, like, a caterpillar that's about to turn into a butterfly and metamorphosize into something great. Okay, all right. We I got the answer. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, don't ask the tough <laughs> questions that you don't want the tough answers you're to. You're actually hella right. And also, I stopped watching plane crash videos and murder documentaries, and I am no happier than I was before. Like, like, if anything, like, I, I just, like, saying, like, 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 I just need to, like, tap back in. Like, <laughs> drinking Cokes or stopping, like, it's the same idea. Like, when I stopped drinking a Coke, like, stop drinking sodas and, like, doing cocaine and shooting up heroin and smoking meth, like, you didn't I get feel happier. worse. Yeah. Like, I feel worse. So I just fall back into those habits. Like, like, it's like the people who are like, I cut out coffee. <laughs> Whoa. I cut out coffee. Like, ah, like, I feel so much better. It's, one, no, you don't. Two, you're lying to yourself. Three, you're fucking boring. Four. Is coffee bad for you? I think people, because it's like if you take melatonin a lot, you are oh. depleting your natural chemicals that like make you sleepy. Can I just say one thing? Don't talk to me until I've had my fucking cup, a cup uh, of coffee. Okay. Exactly. Just don't uh, even speak to me until I've finished it. Don't talk to me until I've macro dosed porn. <laughs> Yeah, y'all are on that microdosing <laughs> shit with porn. Don't, like, don't talk to Drew until he's gooned for yeah, seven 17, hours. Edging and gooning <laughs> session. I don't know what that is. Honestly, that makes me so happy for you. <laughs> that like, is I don't good. know what that is. You know what edging is. I know what edging is. I don't know what it's kind of the is. same thing. Oh, okay. Edging is good for you. Yeah. Boost Promotes your... testosterone. Yep. Uh, 
makes you uh last longer in bed for the ladies oh we all know those 30 second uh and over guys <laughs> whoa i met five nights at freddy's <laughs> I literally did. Like, I'm not even fucking Dude, you're, like, literally on a crazy tip. How do we get invited to the premiere of Five Nights at Freddy's? Like, I feel like we could make that happen. I think we did. No. Yeah, I think... Oh, no, 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 no. I got invi invited to the premiere of... Never mind. I'm not going to say that. I'm not bragging. <laughs> um. Okay, well, one last thing I want to talk about before we move on to media <laughs> and Drew Syop Corner is uh y'all have you seen the insurrection of mojang no mojang minecraft mojang they are the community is finally i was rising thinking up of against uh mojang. the restaurant mojangles i thought i thought that's mojangles bojangles is that mojangles. what it is yeah it's mojangles oh i thought you were talking about a restaurant no Wait. i'm talking about minecraft the community is finally like uniting and rising up against Minecraft and all their crimes against the community. Like every so often, like there's a voting system where you get to vote for like a new critter to be added to the game. They could add all three. Like, why don't they add all three? Oh, and they make us vote and the community is like, just add all three of them. You already have add the all three of design. what? The critters, like the new animals, like the bees, the cows the horses. that's what this is about i thought yeah. it was like they were taking money from like developers i always imagine like a january 6th yeah on like it, house. They, they know they are what look but at it's the over the critters we need to do that for fortnite and get rid of the fucking chickens and all the animals that attack you because it's so fucking pointless like the amount of times i've been on such a grind but yeah. i get caught in the fucking storm and then i get out and a fucking chicken is attacking me like that's the last thing i need on my plate do you plate. remember the wolves in fortnite dude yeah. yes they were so fucking annoying they but were so annoying we had such a domestic like few, last few nights together that it was literally cracking me up it like when crazy. we were sitting watching love is blind on the couch and we were both and PJ sitting there, I literally was looking at you. I was like, oh my God, this is literally what married couples do. Like we ate dinner and then we were sitting and watching TV and like oh. it felt so funny. Like it was just cracking me up. And sometimes we made dinner last night. Yeah, sometimes we fall into such a, like, yeah, we literally made dinner for Orion and she came over and I was like, this is literally so funny. Like this, we are, we have fully hit Our mid to late 20s. 20s. Like we've just, we've, we are there. Like there's no, <laughs> wait, what? Or mid eighteen. <laughs> oh yeah, because you're seventeen. Are you excited to turn eighteen? I feel like it's been forever. Yeah, I'm excited to finally be fucking legal. What? Are, what's the first thing you're gonna do when you're legal age? Vote. Oh wow. Vote for Joe Biden. That, that's really responsible. <laughs> vote for Joe. Biden. <laughs> we did it, Joe. I'm gonna vote for Marianne Williamson. <laughs> <laughs> She likes birds. <laughs> it's a real person. She likes birds and she's really sweet. And she's like really comfy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, that was this episode. Wait, no, no, wait. Do like, my name's Jessica. <laughs> no, I had a really good one the other day. <laughs> oh, I know. Our other one was, um, my name is Sadie and I like to sing. <laughs> Josiah, come Sadie here. Sadie sings. Josiah, come here. And Sadie and I like to sing. <laughs> <laughs> I had a really good one last night. Mic. Oh, wait, I know what mine was. My name is Sadie and I like to sing. <laughs> um, <laughs> My name is Danielle and I built Larchmont Village. <laughs> yeah, it's, My name is Steven Peterson and I built Larchmont Village. <laughs> My name is Tyler and I love the Hollywood Bowl. <laughs> What is what is that? What does it become? Like <laughs> My name is Jessica Bale and I've won 18 Emmys. Oscars. <laughs> is Jessica Bale not a person? Jessica Beale. Beale. Oh, Beale. Oh, Beale. Veal? Like steak? No. Mm -hmm. Steak like goats. I'm the fucking is veal goat. goat. Hey, goated. <laughs> hey, veal? greatest of them all. Hey. Yeah, if we cut you up and ate it, we'd be eating veal. Yeah.
And if we cut you up and ate it, uh, you would be like ground sausage. No, I'd be like ground sardines. Mm -hmm. I'd be a sardine paste. Fishy, fishy, fishy. All right. Well, media of the week is Love is Blind. Duh. Um, (laughs) Dirt, dirt, (laughs) dirt. And my, uh, I only have one thing to say for song media, and it's I Want You, the deluxe version by Marvin Gaye, which I think is what I said last time. And then I just listened to When the Morning Comes by Daryl Hall and John Oates like eight times this morning. And it made me so happy. Um, mine is Wonder Wall by Ryan Adams. Um, uh, Sugar Ross, I think. Sugar Ross. I fucking love them. Just listen oh. to the music. Get into it. Yeah. Um, then. Uh, what the fuck was that song I was listening to? I was blasting it in the car. Oh, well. Um, y'all want to get those too. What'd you say? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The new 10 Tricks Point Never album. Y'all tap in. That first song I is like so goddamn good. That was gorgeous. One of the gorgeous. best intros to an album I've ever fucking heard in my life. And um, the other whole than album, Bambi by Claro, I re listened to Sling, and Bambi is such a good opening song to an album. It's crazy. The whole album is literally just so cool. It's like the best parts of all of OPN's music and albums that I like mixed into one album. And it's really freaking good. Please listen to it. And Invisible Man by The Breeders. Please listen to it. Um, Okay, let's get into Drew's PSYOP Corner. Welcome to Drew's PSYOP Corner. I need a couple of y'all's ugly ass boyfriends to sit on my porch this Halloween. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> you looking for applause? I oh, pray- you're, wait, no, you're calling me and Kai the ugly boyfriend. Yeah. Oh. oh. I pray body dysmorphia is real because if it's not, I'm ugly as fuck. But. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Imagine if you died on Spotify rap day and your friends had to figure out what they were going to post to their stories first, your obituary (laughs) or their Spotify rap. Dude, if my friends mix up their story with me and their Spotify rap, I would literally haunt them from the dead. Like, you can't just wait a few days. (laughs) Imagine if you died on emergency intercom release day and your funeral was planned at the same time. And you have to decide if you're going to listen to emergency intercom or go to your friend's funeral. You just said, imagine if you died. (laughs) (laughs) Die, die, die. All of you die. Um, I have one more, but it sucks. I definitely would have been stoned to death in a town square. (laughs) I don't think that sucks because it's true. Yeah, it's true. Oh my fucking God. Drake, I cannot believe I did not put this earlier in the episode. And we might have to put this earlier in the episode because I know bitches are not listening this deep. (laughs) Drake, fuck you. Fuck you, Drake. Oh my God. What did he do to you? Pissed me the fuck off. So, one, he wants to go online and say, oh, everything Drew is saying about us hooking up and shit is not real. Bitch, I have the fucking footage. Do you want me to release the fucking footage of your tiny penis, you and Kanye giving each other back shots? Because I fucking will. And then you have the audacity, the fucking audacity to put a song about me on your album. Hello, Drew's a Picasso. Drew is a Picasso. Fuck you. Now you're calling me a work of art all of a sudden. Yes, I have a nice body. Yes, I have a monster (laughs) fucking dick. Yes, I blew your fucking back out. How the fuck are you not? Oh, my God. I'm so actually fucking pissed. I'm you shouldn't even do like you were ignoring the fact that you signed like a crazy NDA. And I don't know why you're saying all of this. Like you're going to get He knows if he bra- if he tells me I broke the NDA, he knows his nudes are getting leaked and he's embarrassed. He's an embarrassed <laughs> oh guy. Drake, delete the fucking song. Or tell them it's, who it's Have really Have you listened about. to the song? Because I haven't. No, I, haven't. <laughs> I haven't either. It's probably like terrible. The new album is good, actually, unironically. Uh, the Sexy Red song is, like, the one that's the one. All right. Well, thanks for listening to this episode, guys. I hope you have an amazing day. Um, and I hope nobody had any comments to make about my scary bangs. All right. Oh, someone made a This Is Drew Phillips playlist. <laughs> I like that cover. <laughs> Drew, can I use the toilet? No. Absolutely. You need to go home and use your own fucking toilet. Can I please use yours? I have to pee. He's going to get our fucking shit released. What did you just ask me? (laughs) What did you just ask me? Drew, can I please use the toilet? 
I need to pee so bad. Can I please use the toilet? Ew, look at his legs. Ew, are those new shoes? Yeah, these are new you shoes. You actually ate them up. Yeah, I, I had to those. tap into the Sambas just as they were exiting. <laughs> the, the you're the last guys. person to wear Sambas. You were the last shit. person known to mankind to purchase Sambas. Yeah. You know what fucking sucks is now the Onasuka Tigers are literally the new Sambas. And that's okay because it's such a niche bubble. It's that's a niche why bubble. I got these. I posted them first. I'm such a fucking annoying, ugly piece Kyle, of shit. Kyle, you cannot be saying that. Kyle? Again, so. I said Kai. I like to call him Kyle. Can I please pee in the toilet, Drew? No, okay, stop. Cut that. Okay. You're done. You're <laughs> it's done. Crazy. Bye. crazy. I'm the toilet. And <laughs> <laughs> you're saying you're going to pee on me. No. All right. Thank you guys for listening. Bye. <laughs>